today I wanted to go over uh, the history of the New York City Transit Authority logos. I have a couple of examples I wanted to show. Uh, so let's get started. We'll go in chronological order, starting with this one. This logo was the first of the tra uh, Transit Authority after they unified the IND, BMT, and IRT, and it became a city agency. Uh, you can see they have the R12s over here and nice city skyline. I guess it's way before the Twin Towers or the Freedom Tower. Um, I like it, fitting for the times. Just wanted to show one other example with different colors. Um, the strange thing is though, sometimes you'd see this logo used even more recently. So, uh, they do use it to a certain extent now. But after that logo came this logo, the TA logo. And I believe this was debuted um, around the World's Fair time. So in the 1960s. And I think it also has a 1960s style and feel to it as well. And this one was kind of short lived, I guess, in the scheme of, scheme of things. Because in the late 60s, they came out with my favorite, which is the M. And this is the one that also lasted up until when I was a kid taking the trains. Definitely my favorite. I liked it. The font, transit, very tough, nice feel. Also, you'd have these on the side of the trains, the big metal. Um, this one in particular, this comes off the IRT train. I think the sixth train that was in the accident in Union Square, um, but that's a different story. And last, and the current logo that we're using is this one, the MTA. Um, this one is okay. I mean, for me, I don't understand why they stuck with the circle and they keep the circle, but they just put a circle in a circle. I think maybe it should be the whole circle. And you have the letters over here that in a way uh, suggest motion and moving forward. Uh, it's simple, it's clean, it's modern. Um, but like I said, my favorite is definitely the old M. Uh, anyway, it's a little bit of history. Be happy if anybody has more news or information to share. Uh, thanks, thanks for tuning in. Bye.